Hello again, uh, everyone. Again, um, during this time of crisis, I want to thank our first line responders, those medical um, professionals that are helping keeping us safe, and those other uh, key essential businesses that are still open, still open, you know, helping to feed um, folks in our community uh, to keep us healthy and also to keep us strong and ready to fight through this crisis. Um, but today, I want to talk to you about uh, child custody issues during this COVID-19 crisis and, and this pandemic and these stay-at-home orders. Hi, my name is Attorney Anthony Spratley. I'm the owner and founder of Genus Law Group, where we practice uh, divorce law, which includes uh, the division of property and also uh, time sharing um, and visitation as well. Now, we've been getting a ton of phone calls on a daily basis and also internet inquiries and the most common question that we receive is about uh, visitation and how it relates to the governor's stay-at-home order. Now, the governor's stay-at-home order, stay stay order is a very serious order that you should take into account when uh, you decide that uh, you know, you're going to go out in public, right? Because we're trying to limit the spread of this coronavirus throughout, throughout our community. However, um, if you have a valid court order, uh, my advice to you would be to follow that court order unless there is a health and safety issue uh, with regards to the other parent, right? It, it can't be a made up issue. For example, if you think that the other person might have coronavirus, but uh, they don't have uh, a confirmed sickness, or if they're not quarantined because they have a confirmed sickness, that should not be an excuse for you to play games and not take your child uh, to go visit uh, the other parent if you have an established custody and time sharing order. Now, uh, the most important thing during this COVID-19 crisis with regards to your concerns about transporting the child to spend time with the other parent is have an open line of communications with the other parent, the non-custodial parent, so that you can have a basic understanding where both of you can lay out what your concerns are about the child going over to the other parent's home and then vice versa when they return to you uh, that the other parent uh, make sure that their concerns are addressed as well about um, whether or not uh, each household is practicing uh, proper hygiene and social distancing and, and not taking you know their kids uh, to be exposed in public unnecessarily so uh, during this crisis the most important thing when you have custody issues talk to the other parent about it talk to them about your concerns if there's a legitimate uh, you know, safety concern because the other parent has COVID-19 or they're suspected of having it, then uh, you need to talk about that with the other parent, uh, but you should not use this as a time uh, to withhold uh, visitation. Now, if you believe that your child is in danger because the other parent um, is taking like unnecessary risk with your child while they're in the other parent's care, you know, taking them to unnecessarily like uh, unnecessary uh, shopping trips or uh, not social distancing properly, uh, then that's a concern you should raise with the other parent. And if it becomes a safety issue, uh, you may want it to explore maybe an emergency motion uh, to restrict uh, custody time sharing, or um, maybe as a final uh, resort to file an emergency order for or a temporary order of uh, protection. All right, folks, that's it. Stay safe out there. Again. If you have any custody issues during this COVID-19 crisis, make sure you talk to the other parent first about your concern. Try to work out um, what your differences might be. Uh, talk about what your concerns are. And if that does not work because the other parent is not fulfilling their obligation to keep your child safe or your children safe, then you can file motions in court to modify the current time sharing arrangement or you may be able to file a domestic violence order protection petition uh, to keep your child or your children safe. All right, that's a wrap. Have a great day.